Yo, what's up, guys? So right now, 7.38 a.m. Ando todo modorro, lagañoso. But I'm on my way right now to go see a 67 C10. Uh, some man hit me up that he had one for sale, uh, short bed, fleet side. Which I'm mainly interested in the bed. So I'm crossing my fingers that it's not too rusted out or anything. It's about two hours away. So time to hit the road. Back in the day, I used to work at that mall right there. The Woodlands Mall at Foot Locker. All right, well now we're in the country, but I still got maybe about 45 minutes to go. So I'm kind of close now. Stopped at a gas station right now. I need to take a leak real quick. Probably get something to drink. I'm back. Got me a V8 splash. And this bacon croissant. Man, I really don't eat stuff out of like little gas stations like that. But I mean, it doesn't look too bad. And I'm kind of hungry already. And I'm out in the country. I don't know what's around here. So I'm going to take my chances on this one. Hopefully I don't have to go to a restroom later on. This thing's all right. No más que está medio seco. Le falta una salsita no más. Ya, no lo sé. So is this guy right here. He happened to be coming out at the same time as I'm pulling up. I'm gonna try to record as much as I can. Man, it's a badass property, it's big. Got this own pond. It's pretty badass here. So these are pretty, pretty shot. They're, they won't even spin. I brought some lug nuts and some wheels to put it on, but my lug nuts are too big. These are barely sticking out a little bit. But here's a fleet side bed. The bread, the bed's actually pretty good. Well, at least for, from this side. So it's pretty rusty. Got a little rust right here. Standard. Just got a seat. Other side. 
He's got the typical rust right here. Right here too. Rockers are bad. Cap corners are bad. Man, I like this bed. This bed's good. Usually they'll get some rust here too. But it's pretty solid. Hoping to be able to see what this said, but don't look like it's gonna be able to be cleaned up. It's got a radio. <laughs> Alright, so I had an issue with the truck. I brought some wheels for it, six lug off my Sierra, but the bore is too small on my wheels and it won't sit flush on the front. So we're gonna have to try to um, find a way to transfer it over from his trailer to my trailer. I brought a come along and we're gonna see if that'll work. I do have another set of those wheels that'll fit on that truck, but man, they are probably going to be stuck on the truck too. The other one I have. Probably have to reset it. But that'll get you up there. Good way.
Um, oh, and this piece right here, it might be just hitting on the bumper. Oh, it's hitting the axle. Pick up the loader. Yeah, it's coming. coming it's coming Well, it's sitting on your trailer right now. Yeah, that that's holding it, ain't it? Uh, uh, I wonder if I can pull out. Let me try that. All right. Yep. So it's getting stuck somewhere here. You think? I can't tell where it's stuck though. I'm gonna try to push from the back. Good idea. That's fine. Oh, that was a lot easier. Yeah. So it was stuck here somewhere. Oh shit, it was stuck right here. No wonder. Good little piece right there. So I'm just about done here. Strapped it up. I mean, I doubt it's gonna go anywhere. 
It was already stuck. But that's it. This is a nice little pickup. It's really what I wanted. Fleet type bed. In good shape. I mean, for the little rust that it has, I'll take it. Uh, so I'm gonna head back home. Some real nice property over here, man. Got some ducks in the water. And a C10 in the trailer. <laughs>